Welcome everybody, it's Mike Newton here at Lytham Golf Academy and I've got a Ping low spin driver in my hand here. So the new G400 and this is the LST version which stands for the low spin technology. So obviously LS Tech's been out in the G version and G30 I think it was as well. Uh, obviously they're carrying that low spin version on into the new G400 range. So really the difference here is this weighted screw on the sole has, has sort of come fractionally forward and then this tungsten weight has flipped from this back edge and flipped in front slightly nearer to the face of the golf club. So all, ultimately what this is doing is just pulling CG further towards the club face fractionally which is helping to give a slightly lower launch and a lower spin characteristics with the golf ball. So this, generally speaking, is aimed at somebody maybe with a little bit of speed, maybe the sort of lower handicap guys, possibly looking to try and reduce spin to squeeze out some more yards. Having said that, we do fit-ins, and this ties into also sort of mid-handicap golfers who are again are trying to get spin down. It's still it's still the um, 445 cc head, so it's slightly smaller than the G, but so is the standard version. So it's the same size as basically the standard G400 and the um, SF Tech version as well. Um, obviously you've got your Dragonfly on the top as per usual, you know, uh, turbulators there. So Ping is saying they've got a faster club head, um, sorry, ball speed coming off the face or a faster face here. So it'll be interesting to look at some ball speed numbers here. But really this is what I'm quite excited to use myself because I'm always trying to get my spin down as much as I can. Um, and this should hopefully fit into my uh, game or my swing speed as well in my game and what I'm trying to do with golf ball in terms of spin. So I'm quite just look at these numbers myself. Now I've got this in the Pings Tour 65 shaft, which is a slightly firmer, slightly lower spinning option of the two stock shafts they offer. Obviously they do have upgrade shafts which are chargeable. Um, again, in some lower spin and some different characteristics there. But I'm going to go with a stock tall 65 in a stiff flex. I've got, I've got this, it's actually a 10 degree head here, but I've moved it down to 9 degrees. So I've taken a degree of loft off the uh, head here, so it's down to 9 degree. Um, and we're going to see maybe how this sort of um, suits my game specifically, but also let's have a look at this spin number. This is the key one we're sort of looking for with the, with the LST version. Okay, so I've just got myself set up on the driving range here at on the simulator. So I'll just get this ball in the right position here. So, you know, it's, it's exactly the same look as the standard G400 uh, as you look at it from the top here. You know, you've got your, as I say, you've got your Dragonfly, your Turbulators going here. It's quite a busy head, but I like it. It all sort of feeds into the club face, very much frames the golf ball when you sit it behind the, the ball. Okay, so we've got to get this first one hit. Yeah, it's a nice ball flight. Looks quite strong, that. Interesting to see. Yeah, okay, that's getting out there. That's a good opening shot there. Nice and straight. Again, looks like quite a powerful ball flight there, which I quite like. Looks to be quite low spin. Oh, that was, a, again, good solid strike. Looks really powerful in the flight there. It looks like it's getting out here. Yeah, I mean, it's Easily over 300 mark. Yeah, edging 308 there. That felt, if I'm gonna get picky, it felt a fraction heel, but flighted still really quite nicely there. Just got that slight bit of right to left shape on it, which is always nice. And as I say, we're gonna look at some spin numbers in a bit, but I'm quite interested to look at that because that looks, it looks quite, very much a rainbow flight there. So it looks like it's gonna be hopefully Hit that spin number. I'd like to hit that for me personally is the low 2000s, uh, around that 2000 mark. I'm guessing it's probably going to be around the sort of 2, 2, 2, maybe 4 area. We'll see that. Sorry about that. A bit of a low flying plane coming over. Right, so we'll get the first shot hit here. Oh, right, that was a very low in the face strike. That wasn't a good strike at all. I mean, it's still flighted fairly straight, left to right shape. Just pulled slightly because I got it low heel. Yeah, so there's a big drop off, 282. And that spun up at 27. So I, I must admit, I was expecting that to be a little bit higher, but that was a really low heel strike. Very bad strike there. Okay, so I think that just probably goes to show, you know, these modern day drivers, yes, they are very forgiving, but when you miss the middle as far as I've just done, 
uh, there, you know, even that is going to drop off on speed and distance there. So, uh, right, let's, let's try and get a better one hit here. Ah, yeah, that's much better. Again, I'm loving that flight. Really looks quite a powerful flight there. Now, I think, looking at, again, look at the ball, uh, sorry, look at the club as I set it down by the golf ball. It does look good. It does look very appealing to me. As, I, as I've done with my re review of the standard G400 head, I like the turbulators. I like the dragonfly there. The shape of it, the matte black finish. You've got a black head, black face. It's all sort of blacked out. Very sleek, stealth looking sort of golf club here. I'm loving the bottom of it. You know, I think rack appeal it is great. You know, it looks a very sort of classy uh, well-made sort of golf club here so um, you know I think it, you know Ping's obviously very very strong strong brand and I think it always will be you know it's a very strong followers with Ping and, th and that's a really good looking I uh, sorry driver there and I'm, I'm quite excited to look at these numbers now I know I've hit a couple there which weren't probably the best strikes but um, I'm going to be quite interested to look at the, the sort of spin numbers of the, obviously the good hits there which I'm also trying to do uh, but maybe obviously do look at it as an average as well. Right, so let's have a look at some numbers there with the G400 LST. So club head speed averaging at one one five and a half, ball speed one six three. So you obviously see that third shot complete miss hit with me. So that just drops ball speed off quite a bit there. So just probably just pull the average down fractionally there. Uh, launching at 9.7 there on average, so you see some a little bit low there, there probably the area I'd like to try and get the launching in there, again strike will play a bit of a part of that, last two there, obviously that was a really low in the face, low heel which pulled it, that was slightly low in the face, but again just drops that launch down fractionally, makes a big difference on that launch number. Spin there at two and a half, so probably where I sort of guessed it, I'd like that to be down a little bit further, the first one was really good there, at 2.2, at two, two, but I would like that spin nearer to that 2,000 mark. That's probably more for me delving into loft and maybe some different shafts there just to try and get that number down a little bit more, but um, not, a, not a horrendous number by all means. Um, coming in pretty efficient on the descent angle at 35 degrees as it comes into land, carrying out at uh, 276, 301 average. So again, this third shot just... Um, pull those averages down a little bit. So what I'm just going to do there, I'm going to take that third shot out of the equation and see what that does to the averages. So ball speed 165, launch 10.6, spin 2484, and then carry it 283, and averaging 307 run out. Right guys, so there we have it, the, the G400 LST, so the low spin version, a little bit of weight pulled forward here, the look of it is exactly the same shape and head size as the other G400 drivers, but obviously the, the CG placement is moved forward, and we see some slightly lower spin numbers, I'm just casting my memory back from when I did the standard G400 review, I think my spin was a little bit up, uh, sort of 2728 mark, area so it's getting a little bit lower spin there for me as i said i'd like to get that down a little bit more but that's more me delving in a bit more testing maybe some different shafts in there but i just wanted to do it in the stock tour shaft there for you guys um, that's probably the one you're going to have more most access to out uh, when if you're going to try it obviously you do get to a good fit and they're going to have these other upcharge shafts there again price goes up a little bit but i don't think the massive cost or, or massive upcharge is there so it's worth sort of getting them fit uh, or try them anyway and see if you need to go into something like that and if you do you, you'll you'll understand if that's um make it worthwhile for you to pay that extra money for the driver but Great driver there from Ping, you know, they're still going strong, still making some great product, and that's a really good addition to the G400 family. Okay, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Do a comment down below. Any comments on the LS Tech version? Any head-to-heads you want me to sort of do with maybe other low-spin drivers out there? Obviously, just fire them down below. I'll try my best to get them done. Please hit that subscribe button, and hopefully we'll catch up with you all very soon.